సో మనం జీవిత గారి గురించి మాట్లాడుకుందాం యూ గట్ ఎనీ సజెషన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ జీవిత గారు బికాస్ షీ ఈస్ త్రూఅట్ ద షూట్ రైట్ జీవిత జీ ఇస్ అవర్ ప్రొడ్యూసర్ అండ్ షీ ఐ కాల్ హర్ సూపర్ ఉమెన్ she is super woman because she can handle so many things all at once and it really is commendable and appreciative because um and does it with a smile she is also multi talented actress director producer Abs- and so you know when she called me and i re- what what she has done in her life and i said wow you know okay that's what i want to do like she is director producer everything and uh, and hopefully i'll be able to make a a 25 crore movie soon <laughs> and be a producer like that but she uh what i really appreciate is she balances you know everything and and um and even in spite of so many things and, and difficulties that happen in a production you know she's that firm believer like an artist is a true artist is the show must go on and uh and i think as artists we always have that difficult thing between um because this thing called life happens <laughs> it comes in between the movies uh because movies actually are become your family right you're working with these people like 12 15 hours a day and then you go back to your other family so uh you kind of have to gel both of them together because you're not the same person anymore right with that experience so um you know she she has this wonderful uh, personality of bringing everyone together and um and i really have to thank her for that i mean she's inspirational for women because uh you know all of the young women out there can can watch her and say look we can do that we can have a family we can have children and we can produce and we can direct and uh and she did it in the 80s yes you know very talented uh, the, and uh she directed at that time when how many female directors were there yes. there weren't any uh and now the cinema has opened up so much because of the digital age uh there's so many interesting characters for women now um and for all age groups and now we can direct we can produce uh so much more easier and the only thing that i think is stopping us is is the content is the writing uh once we have more writers uh and we give that um importance to the writing i think then then we're really going to be uh, at a, at a sort of um at par with you know we always compare ourselves to hollywood and i think we compare to hollywood is because they do have good content they do concentrate on the writers and they give that respect to them so uh i think that's what we're moving towards which is great uh and jiva that is one of those people who really gives the importance uh to everyone you know whether it's 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 the assistant the production assistant all the way to to anyone and i think that's really fantastic about her so tollywood people knows you because of vishwarupam and uttam milan but still uh, even though this is the first debut uh, movie direct yeah. movie it's yeah movie. yeah so aren't i inspiration for women yeah. too <laughs> <laughs> so how is tollywood so it's amazing uh i uh chala baundi uh, cinema chala baundi cinema chala baundi <laughs> uh the everyone's been giving me a warm welcome and uh i i just love it here in hyderabad because the people are amazing and i come from a city my mom is from lucknow okay. and uh so we have the same biryani and we have the same like mughlai food so i feel kind of at home in hyderabad because it's very similar to where uh, enjoy hyderabad biryani oh i love hyderabad <laughs> biryani yes absolutely so uh but yeah uh, and i think telugu cinema is really making a mark internationally uh in USA every movie is doing so well at the box office and it's so great to see that because um now people are noticing no people are noticing Telugu cinema people are noticing Tamil cinema before people thought oh regional cinema is not that big but it actually is big uh and uh it's it's something that we should really be you know taking care of and and we have a responsibility we've got such good stories and uh and as indians we have the technical background and we have the expertise as far as writing production and everything um so we we should be making more movies we already make a thousand so we can we can make more puja is a great dancer bharatanatyam kuchipudi, kuchipudi and kathak. kathak so now we are giving any shows or like uh, your anything about uh, dance yeah you know i dance basically i just to keep up with my dancing but i don't really do any dance shows I think um internationally internationally I don't really do internationally it's it's difficult because there 
Only with the Indian programs uh, do I do like a Kathak program or I do a Bharatanatyam dance performance. But it would be for the Indian cultural programs. Uh, and so then I've always grew up doing that. Like we'd have our holy night and uh, an India night while growing up in St. Louis, Missouri. That's where I was born. And, uh, and during like Diwali and Holi, we would do India night and that's where I would perform dances while growing up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because my mom and dad were like, listen, you have to know your background and you have to know Indian culture. Otherwise, how are you going to, you know, propagate it? And how are you going to be, how, if you don't know your background or where you're coming from, then where are you going to go? The thing is that we don't know our future unless we know our past. And so that's really something that what my parents instilled in me <clears throat> in, a, in a fun way. It wasn't like, you have to do this, and you have to learn to read Bharatanatyam, you have to And I learned how to read and write Hindi. So I learned like, ka, ka, ga, ga, and like, cha, 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 cha. Very soon you, are, you talk Telugu also. I will. Please, 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 please yes. <laughs> okay, so you're settled in New York? Uh... I live in New York. I go between New York, LA, uh, Hyderabad, and Chennai. So I live out of a suitcase, basically. <laughs> That's my home. So you, have, you produced it also, no? You produced I produced short a short film called 1001 Auditions, was my first production. And it was about an actress uh, who goes on auditions and uh, gets rejected. And then she says, okay, I'm fed up. I'm going to give up acting. I can't take it anymore. And then realizes her true karma, which is uh, basically what we're taught, right? You're not worried about the success or what you're going to get out of it. And um, you're not worried about the risks or the rewards. It's about the journey. And you have to be okay with your journey of being an artist uh, of being a person who's going to share your emotions with other people. That's the point of it, right? And um, otherwise I would just sit behind a desk and, and that's it. So this was the, the whole kind of crux of 1001 Auditions and um, that was the first part and, uh, and we're planning on doing a second and, and a third part to it or making it into a feature. So direction plans? Direction plans? God. <laughs> Not yet, because I don't know anything about direction. I mean, that is a skill which you really have to study and you have to pay attention and, and it's a whole different mindset. You know, I'm, I'm an actor and a producer <clears throat> and a creator, but as far as direction, that's sort of like looking at the whole canvas and going from beginning, middle and end. So <clears throat> I'm not quite there yet. Maybe when I'm old and fat. How you managed all these, like modeling, uh, I think you are Miss India US. I was Miss India USA, yes. Uh, so and you, you did a shows also for uh, national channels. I did, I did uh, uh, for Channel V, I did BPLOA, I have done, you know. Uh, when you camp- started your career? Uh, I started very, when, early. very early, very mm-hmm. early. I'm lucky I'm still working and I'm lucky that I have gotten the opportunities I have. And I think perseverance, I think hard work. And I think consistently wanting to make yourself better is critical. And I think in, in this day and age, you know, you have to constantly be studying. You know, when we're not reading or when we're not shooting on the movie, we're reading, we're writing, we're watching movies, I'm studying characters, I'm studying. I mean, I was amazed when I saw this movie with uh, Dilip Kumar and Bajanti Mala called Madhumati. I saw it while growing up and then I saw it again and I said, Vijanti Mala ji is brilliant. I mean, at that young of an age, she showed so many different emotions with such maturity at 18. I don't know how many girls today at 18 can show such maturity. You know what I mean? And, and that was in the 50s and 60s when there was, there, we had no access to any information. Um, so, so in that sense, we have a lot of work we have to do even behind the scenes. Uh, and that's why the films always take like two to three years to make because even a script of 120 pages <clears throat> takes four months to write, even if you write one page a day. 120 pages is four months. Uh, sorry, three months. And then you're doing three months of pre-production. Then you do three months of production. And then you have to do three months of post-production and then release. So uh, the whole process, minimum you need one year. So yeah. <laughs> Family support? They have no choice <laughs> but to support. I mean, Nobody from filming background? Right? No one. My dad's a, a mechanical engineer. Uh, my mother's no more, but she owned three haircutting stores. 
Uh, my dad's brothers were all engineers in the army. And uh, my mom's sisters are all married to doctors and, and engineers and accountants. And in, in Lucknow, my family has a medical college and a dental college. Uh, in my father's house in Dehradun, my Taoji worked for the, uh, for, for the Dehradun government. Uh, and so uh, no one in film industry at all. So they all were like, my nani said especially like, what happened? Like, the studies not so good, what happened to him? He was a doctor engineer. Ah, my dad was very upset because like, I, he's a HVAC, right? Heating and cooling systems. And I know how to fix air conditioners. <laughs> That's the only engineering I can do. He was so upset when I didn't want to go into engineering. But thank God my brother's a doctor. So then like, okay. Okay, any, one At least one person is a doctor. Okay, whatever Pooja wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> but now that they've seen that I'm somewhat successful, so now they're, they're, they're happy. And I just had a film with Vince Vaughn and Don Johnson release called Brawl in Cell Block 99. And uh, so that has come out. And then I've done a series with Chris Kattan and Keanu Reeves called Bollywood Hero. So I'm lucky I get to work sort of in all the genres. Uh, I am the only Indian American to work in five different languages. Super. So yeah. That's up. Yeah, thank you. So now you are any, uh, now you are going and doing any projects, uh, international projects? Yes, I am. I will be shooting a series for Netflix next April. Wow. Yeah, yeah. In, so, in Los Angeles. Alanti, a top actress, mana Tollywood la actress So that is Tollywood uh, great. It's 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 from this that I'm getting the support. Really, it is from India because, you know, I was born and brought up in America, but uh, DNA is still Indian, right? So you can't, you can't yes, change that. Indian, Indian. That's right. That's right. So uh, future plans and uh, new projects. So I'm going to be shooting that in April. Uh, I'm writing, I'm co-writing two short films that are going to be turned into web series. And uh, another romantic comedy has come my way. Uh, so let's see if I do that one or not. Let's romantic see. comedy. See, uh, Pooja in comedy role. Uh, Don't you think I can do, Bhargav? Yeah, I can yeah, do yeah. comedy? Why not? You're so. <laughs> <laughs> a multi-talented person. <laughs> I can be the nagging wife, really upset and mad, shake or get back. And then I can be comedy also. So. <laughs> Super, really nice to meet you and a small rapid fire. Uh, yes. Finally, it's a uh, 10 questions only. Okay? <coughs> yeah. Apoja, this is the you, quick, quick the, ones? Okay. Uh, uh, I'm not very rapid. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, your biggest strength? Positivity. Who inspired you to become an actress, model, presenter, producer? Oh, well, my, the first actress that I saw on screen? Uh, inspiration. Oh, insp Sri Devi. Super. So, hardest role? Hardest role? Um, I would have to say uh, my character in Vishwarupam because Sorry. I had to do it in two different languages. Yes, yes. Uh, what do you do in short gaps like a free time when you get a free time? What do you do? Yoga. The secret of puja. Yes. But beautiful. Uh, it's, uh, it's, the, uh, it's the inner beauty that's coming out. <laughs> if you were not an actress, then doctor or engineer, I think. Uh, yeah, right? definitely. Engineer. Yes, okay. Yes. Favorite movie? Uh, Hindi, Tamil, Telugu. Any? Mm. Uh, my favorite movie, uh, The Sixth Sense. Okay. Uh, define yourself in three words. Uh, loving, caring, hard worker. That's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, biggest learning experience in films? <clears throat> um, Whatever's happening in your life, um, you can let that go and be true to your character when you're on set with everyone else. Okay, director, you would like to work with uh, in Tollywood or uh, Tamil? Uh, in South movies. In South movies. Um, uh, I would love to work with Raja Muli, sir. Uh, I think every actor would love to work with him. Uh, and who else? In Tamil, um, Shankar. Wow. <laughs> and other directors too. I don't want them to like, think that I don't want to work with you. I want to work with them. <laughs> All directors. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you describe your fashion sense? Uh, my fashion sense, I would say, is stylish. Mm. And I would also say that I, it's all about your confidence.
Uh, what was the last time you told a lie? I told a lie? Mm. Never. <sighs> when I'm acting. <laughs> 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 yeah, because true. I'm not lying, but I'm acting truthful in imaginary circumstances. What right? is success? So it's kind of like your point of view. What is success? Success, a happiness. 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 You have to stay happy because life um, is not so easy. So if you stay happy, it'll make it a little easier. Heads up to you. Great. Nice Thanks to coming. meet you. The very talented uh, Pooja Kumar. Thank uh, you. Uh, uh, so really? what do you want to say to your Tollywood fans? Yes. Uh, uh, namaskaram. Uh, chala thanks uh, for watching the movie. And I know all of you will love it because you have everything in the movie uh, for all of you to see. There's emotions, there's action, there's drama. There is a thrilling, I mean, thrilling experiences that you're going to have and you're going to be at the edge of your seat. So go to the movie, check it out, email me, Facebook me, Twitter me, and then go again with your family. And then you can go a third time also because it's that good. We'll see you at the movies. Bye. Okay, new web series Ochindi, Darling Malachmi Ani. Adi view app lo release hai indi recent ka. Please do watch it. Malachmi, ni valu kallu kanne vallu tippake, nanne champake. Ni para para mulandu na gunde paruchu kundi ni yaru kai patti ne. Ni ko in tak munde vanna affair sunaya. I mean love story. Unai, okadi kaad. Mudo.